Stan Jibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV, to talk about an antenna design known as a corner reflector. You'll find information about this design and related and similar antenna designs as well as various other aspects of ham and shortwave radio in this book due out in October of 2014 and to which I will provide a link in the description of this video to the Amazon.com page so you can pre-order it if you're watching this video before October and order it if you're watching it after October if you don't already have it yet. The suspense is absolutely beyond compare. But here is the design I'm talking about. A corner reflector is a, a half wave open dipole usually with a reflecting element behind it sort of like one of those portfolio books that you can get in a grocery uh, store or department store you know those student portfolio books uh, the dipole driven element can be just a single dipole or it can be several dipoles arranged in a collinear array I made a video a little earlier today about collinear arrays but the idea is that it be placed at just the right point in this inside of this reflector which has a approximately a 90 degree flare angle maybe a little bit less in some cases so that maximum radiation response occurs just where you would expect it to occur they call it a corner reflector of course because this is the corner although it differs from the type of corner reflector used for visible light reflection you might find those kinds of corner, uh, corner reflectors embedded in the paint that they use for things like stop signs road warning signs stripes on the highways and all kinds of other things uh, even those little reflectors you can pound into the ground by your driveway and uh, they reflect light back in the same direction from which it came but the idea of this is to focus antenna energy in a particular direction. Note that the driven element it runs in a line parallel to the line defined by the corner of the reflector. This type of uh, system, the reflector should be maybe a wavelength long like this at least. Uh, or if you have several collinear antennas, it would have to be a lot longer. But Obviously, this design would be impractical on a band such as 80 or 40 meters, but it's quite practical at uh, the upper VHF and the UHF amateur bands, 432 megahertz and above. Uh, you may also see it in commercial and government enterprises. Uh, by the side of the road, for example, you may occasionally see one of these uh, for communicating with state troopers or, or government emergency personnel, things like that. The feed line can run right through one side of the reflector, provided, of course, that insulators are installed there to keep the feed line from shorting out. You can also use a coaxial cable feed line and a little ballon right there at the feed point. Some sort of supporting structure may be needed for this dipole other than the feed line itself, although a simple section of rigid plastic tubing or something could uh, contain a coaxial feed line or a ladder line uh, or a small ladder line of course coming out like that so that's really what a corner reflector is when you hear that term in in antenna lore in amateur radio practice that's what they're talking about Stan Jibalisco W1GV saying 73 and so long for now.